What's up everyone, welcome to Play Infinite Newscast, February 20th, 2012 edition. Um, it's been a while since we made a newscast episode, it was a pretty slow weekend uh, in terms of news. So yeah, we got a bit of news for you guys today, um, probably around 4 or 3 videos. Uh, so the first thing we're going to talk about is, like you see in this picture, Black Ops 2. Um, which is in this video actually, so in this video it's all going to be about Call of Duty. It's going to be about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, we have two sources for that. One Amazon and another it's actual a designer for Black Ops 2. Um, so yeah, we have that to talk about as well as Call of Duty uh, PlayStation Vita version. So um, it's been announced by Sony or, or maybe teased or more, more like announced uh, that Call of Duty is heading towards PS Vita. We have no details on the Call of Duty, but um, we'll see what we can get from the what Sony said. So we'll talk about that in after we're done talking about Black Ops 2. So yeah, just sit back and relax. And also we're gonna, um, for the other videos today, we're gonna be talking about the iPad 3. Um, we actually have pics, pictures of its, um, of its CPU, of its processors. It's gonna be using an A5X processor. Um, you can see that on the picture when we show it to you guys in our next video. And as well as we're gonna be talking about the BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0. Um, the new features for that. We're talking about a new HTC phone that has been leaked. We have pictures from it from every single angle. We have pictures for that and we're going to also be talking about the LG Optimus uh, VU or VU. Um, it's been announced and it's official now. Uh, we covered leaks about that before but now it's official. So for this video it's all going to be about Call of Duty so just sit back and relax and um, I guess watch the show or listen. Uh, so yeah we'll talk about iPad in our next videos and it's so probably around four or three videos. So yeah, let's just get started. So first, so this is a guy right here, Hugo Beer, a uh, buyer or however you want to pronounce it. It's him right there. Um, he's an artist at Nerve Software, and if you look right here under his experience, he right now he works for Nerve Software, but before he was working on um, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two. And it says privately held 11 to 50 employees, computer games industry. So he's been working on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and it says TBA project, so to be announced project. Uh, so this is a pretty solid leak of Black Ops 2 because someone that's actually making the game uh, just uh, leaked it, I guess. Um, so as you can see, it's Nerve Software is working on it, I guess, um, by the looks of it. And that's pretty much all we have here. But the thing is, so we, we it's right here, but who is Nerve Software? Okay, so who is Nerve Software, you ask? So it's probably, so Nerve Software has been doing contract work for Activision um, in the past, uh, including Treyarch developed games. So they've been working with uh, the James Bond titles, um, as well as they also worked on Call of Duty Black Ops, the first one. And so that's, uh, that's who Nerve Software is. But another thing we found from this is that Activision and Treyarch are probably going to release Call of Duty Black Ops 2 this year. Um, so that was that. And we remember before there were also all these websites registered for Black Ops 2 and also a retailer listing in Europe. Um, and we're, we're going to that's the we're going to talk about the Amazon retail listing right next coming up. Um, so the guy Mr. Bayer uh, he he took down his LinkedIn page um, that link that had this info on it, but there was a lot of people took screenshots before he took it off. Um, so yeah, uh, and him, Activision, or Treyarch or Nerve Software hasn't replied on this issue yet, um, and most likely they're never gonna reply on this. Uh, so yeah, next we're gonna talk about this. So this it's a pretty funny story. I'll tell you about it right after right after I'm done talking about this so basically Amazon um, another rumor to like solidify this Black Ops 2 they just uh, leaked Black Ops 2 um, and if you notice Amazon France always does this with a lot of games they always leak it early before it's even announced um, and most of the time it actually is true actually I think every single time it's true um, the game usually ends up coming out sooner or later um, so yeah, this is a French site for, um, it's been reported by Gameblog, 
So this website here, I'll be talking about right after I give this news. It's it's a it's a pretty funny thing that happened. So Amazon uh, product page leaked Black Ops 2, which you can see right here. Um, Europe 69 euros 69 99. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Activision, and this is being leaked for PlayStation 3 platform. But as we all know, it's also coming out on Xbox 360 as well as PC. Um, but we'll wait about the Wii U version. Yeah, so that's that. Um, it's been for Activision, and yeah, so we're not sure about if it's gonna come out for Wii U yet. Uh, we'll have to wait and see for that. So, and something funny that happened is um, after this, uh, Activision told this website, Game Blog, the the website who leaked this first. Uh, they said that they were asked by Activision to remove the news of the listing, um, and then they obviously Game Blog refused to remove the listing. And the site was told to not present themselves at a Transformers Fall of Cybertron event um, that they've been invited to before. So now Activision is basically blacklisting um, this this website because they leaked Call of Duty Black Ops 2 so early. Um, so that's that. But then the, uh, the thing is, uh, after that, we also got an update that uh, Game Block the that sorry Activision issued an update that they would they do not blacklist website and they're gonna investigate into this issue um, so yeah that's I guess good to hear because it's it's not really good that they should blacklist websites like that so it's good to hear that they're gonna fix what they said um, and try to solve the issue with game blog because they also tr threatened to remove advertising from game blog game blog and um, they're not invited to any of Activision's events anymore so that's pretty big. So now we'll just have to wait and see what Activision does. Um, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is this. It's a pretty big one. Call of Duty for PlayStation Vita. Um, this is a pretty solid. It's a pretty solid uh, uh, announcement, I guess. Um, so basically, Senior Vice President of PlayStation Marketing, um, that's his name right there, said in an interview with Games Trailer TV, um, in the autumn, my teenage sons are really looking forward to Call of Duty on Vita and we think that's going to be an absolute game changer for the platform. Um, so that's pretty much an announcement right there. Uh, he just announced that Call of Duty is coming for Vita in the fall and something weird is that fall is when the regular Call of Duty Vita games usually come out. So it's we might see Black Ops 2 or whatever the next Call of Duty is. Um, come out on Vita, maybe it might be a like a version of that or it might just be a new Call of Duty specific to the PlayStation Vita platform. We're not too sure about that so we're gonna have to wait and see about that. Um, and he also some he also said that Sony's first party studios will be working on the console. So we'll be working on the PlayStation Vita. So Naughty Dog didn't make any announcement yet but he did say that they would be working on something for the handheld and the same goes for um, other first party developers. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so he's saying that Naughty Dog as well as many other first party developers are working on games for the PS Vita. And he says you'll see a number of games coming out from all of our studios. Uh, so that's pretty good to hear that PS Vita is getting a lot of support from a lot of different studios. So. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this newscast episode. Um, make sure to subscribe to Play Infinite, like this video, uh, leave any comments or questions in the comment below, and just tell us uh, what do you guys think about the new um, the Black Ops leaks um, on Amazon as well as uh, the the Call of Duty PS Vita. Do you think it's gonna be a, a an actual like maybe Black Ops 2 version on PS Vita, or do you think it's gonna be a separate version uh, for PS made for PS Vita so let us know in the comment section below and um, make sure to subscribe to Play Infinite to subscribe to us all you have to do is click our Play Infinite logo after the logo animation which should come up in a minute um, just click that logo and it'll bring you right to the subscription page make sure to like this video leave any comments or questions and we'll see you in our next video uh, don't forget to subscribe